Hi, this is Valley Anderson. Today is Wednesday, December 15th. Welcome to the Morning News Bite with Dr. Serge Econom. Dr. Khan is a servant of the underserved and an advocate for the voice of the voiceless, especially for young adults. He founded the Post-Incarceration Juvenile Justice Reformation Act Initiative, which in short, we call the Returning Youth Initiative. This initiative assures youth that are released from incarceration have the ability to create a self-sustaining, productive life and reintegrate back into society. In this morning news bite, we try to highlight the extraordinary accomplishments of young adults around the nation to give inspiration to others and enhance their talents. How are you doing today, Dr. Khanna? Good morning, Valley. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining in this morning show. I think today's highlight is kind of a little different than normal, which we do because we are kind of looking at a girl, a teenager, who started a beauty supply store. The reason it is unusual because somebody from Brooklyn, and she's from Brooklyn, where you could imagine that Brooklyn, Manhattan, Bronx, Queens, all this New York City would have plenty and tons of beauty supply store. And what is different here? What is different in this that we are highlighting here? Well, number one is that she is 16. And number two is that she tries to do everything on her self. These are come of some of the things which she really that I do have lots of business experience. I've been helping my mom run her business since I've been very young. Paris said that. I had enough money saved to invest in this. This is what the, the key point is. I had enough money saved to invest in this. So she did not take an investment from anybody. She did herself at 16. And she said, I have enough business experience, a 16 year old is saying, that's amazing. I really want to thank her parents, her sister who is 22, that could give her enough enthusiasm to start this. This is not what she wants to do in her life. She wants to do is that she wants to be an orthopedic pediatric surgeon. That's what she wants to become. So she's going to high school. She's taking some pre-med school right, uh, classes right now. But this is what amazing is that at the age of 16, she could start her own business with her own investment. This is what unique about. A 16-year-old has her own beauty shop from her own investment. What do you think, Valley? Do you think... Uh, Somebody at the age of 16 could say that I have enough business experience and I have saved enough money to do a business. I mean, that's hard to come by even for adults. So good on her for being able to save her money in high school and a large amount to open up her own store. That's it's really recognizable. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So thank you very much, Valley, for bringing up this wonderful news. And I hope, the teenagers, the young adults, those who are listening to this or will be listening to this, get some inspiration so that we can start encouraging this type of young people to go and start your own business, own entrepreneurship. Thank you again. Well, Dr. Khanna, before we end the show today, did you know it is International Tea Day? Oh, wow. Yes. International Tea Day. That means everybody needs to drink tea. Yes, actually, it is the second most consumed beverage. Water is the first. And it was discovered in 2737 BC. So I would say that even Christ started drinking tea so that we could all resemble or we can follow him, right? So tea was one of the one of the things that was invented or discovered before even Christ was born. 
the password. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Dr. Kana, for joining today. For those who wish to know more about the initiative, please visit the website returningyouth.com. We bring sunrise to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, shortly after 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can watch us on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube at Returning Youth or Kana for Youth. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you on Friday. God bless.